Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect. All right, of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. And, um, and a confusion of faces that are scattered abroad. And, um, you know, for you Akim that's out there pushing and laboring, all right, Lord willing, this be edifying to you. And I just wanted to get into a quick lesson that Yahabai Shimi Shai blessed me, uh, blessed me with, you know, something as a, you know, some uh, a pick me up, if you will, through the spirit. So this is Isaiah chapter 54. And I'm going to start at four. It says, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not, for thou shalt not be put out, be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Okay, because we getting ready to receive an everlasting uh rulership, everlasting happiness, everlasting. Uh, joy, everlasting, uh, a beautiful name, man. You know, everlasting relationship. All right, with Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. Okay, and for those, who, for those who don't know, or for those who may, you know, it might be the first time coming across this video. When I say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, those are the names of God and His Son. Who the world annually calls Jesus Christ Okay The names of God Because God is just a title His true name would be in the Hebrew tongue Because the the, the Bible Alright It was originally written in Hebrew Now when it says Lord in all caps When you look that word up in Hebrew It's Yahweh Okay And Yahweh Shai Alright His name it would also be in Hebrew Because he is the only begotten son of Yahweh Okay the scripture says it's evident that he came from the tribe of Judah. Okay. Which um Yahweh shot what his uh Shalakia. The name of the who the world annually calls Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shai. Alright? And these names has have meanings. Yahweh means he is or he exists because he is omnipotent. He is everywhere, he's everything. All right, and to prove that, you can get uh, Exodus the third chapter. Yahweh means he is our he is the savior. All right, Matthew's one twenty one. All right, so um, with that being said, you know, just thought I'd put that out there in the spirit, through the spirit. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue in Isaiah fifty four. And verse uh, I'm gonna read four again. It says, "Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed." Neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. Okay? Because we're not being put to shame. Everything that we were saying, alright, first and foremost came from the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We see these things are coming to pass, so why should we be ashamed? Why should we feel confounded? Do you know? We see the chip happening, man. You know, I just watched the elder brother Kazak. He did a beautiful lesson about um it was entitled Vocab. Um, it goes into uh, basically him asking vocab, uh, what is the mark of the beast? You know, because the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, and which is coming to pass, and which we know that has to come to pass before, you know, what I'm saying we can get out of here, we can get out of captivity. So we see we see these things are happening, man, which means that we should be more confident. And Yahweh Shimi was shot, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood anymore. Okay? Because that's the time we're coming into, man. The time where we're going to, you know, be espoused back to our husband, man. All right? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. For thy maker is thine husband. There you go. The Lord of hosts is his name. See? All caps meaning Yahweh. All right? So Yahweh is our husband, man. Spiritually, we are a spouse to him, man. You know, we are joined to him, man. Okay? You know? So it says, Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So the Lord, 
All right, it's his name, and and he is our redeemer, man. He's gonna allow his son to come back and redeem us. The God of the whole earth shall shall he be called. For Yahweh have called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou wast refused, saith thy power. And through the spirit, hey, when you read this, we can definitely, you know, we can definitely, um, you can, we can put ourselves in a, in this place, all right? So like, we can put ourselves in place of the scriptures, man. When it's, when the scriptures talk about a woman forsaken and grieved in the spirit, a wife of youth, when thou was refused, saith thy power. Who was refused? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, man. You know? You so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Ameri uh, Americans, man. You know? Just a small point to show you that we are refused is that all these other nations, all right, can come over here, you know what I'm saying, get rich, and, um, you know what I'm saying, get businesses, and this, that, and the third. But what about you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You've been over here. You so-called Hispanics were the first, basically, the first ones... Amongst the first to come over here, man. Thousands of years before the so-called white men came. And you still don't have nothing. You still can't get by, man. You know? You are the ones that are forsaken, man. They tell you to remember the Holocaust. Well, let's remember slavery, man. You know? You're supposed to have a, a moment of silence for, holo for the Holocaust or 9-11. You know? But they give you Thanksgiving to celebrate. They give you a... a, a you know... Thanksgiving, they give you um Christopher Columbus Day. All right, so we are that woman forsaken. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I will I gather thee, and that's a righteous balance, man. Because we're going through hell, we're going through hell, man. You know, which the Lord says, a small moment. All right, because the eyes of the Lord, a a thought one day to us is a thousand years to the Lord, man. All right, so we only we haven't even you know been here one whole day, man. But it's feeling like forever, you know. But with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. All right, and we see, man. Hey, I, I was contemplating on that today, man. We see how 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 messed up our life is without our power, man. You know, those in the spirit. We see how messed up our life is without without our power, man. You know? So hey, we living in a glorious time. Our power, you know what I'm saying? We getting ready to receive our power back, man. You know, which we are uh, receiving them now. You know, on a lower level as far as uh, through the spirit. All right? But, hey, we're going to uh, receive it physically, man. So then the whole world can know not to mess with the children of the Lord. Not to mess with. All right, with Israel, man. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, thy redeemer. All right, you know, and the Lord is letting me know that He's our redeemer, man. You know, He's gonna, hey, He's gonna beautify us hey, one day, man, soon, quick. You know, it's gonna be quick, man. You know, and hey, the Lord, hey, through the Lord doing that, He's, he's showing His power too. You know, of people forsaken and forgotten, strung out on drugs. You know what I'm saying? The man and the woman and, and the household is all out of order. All right? The Most High is going to beautify us, man. All right? For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee. You know? So... The way I look at it as when you see it raining and you see the rainbow, that's the hey, that should also make you think about a hey, Yahweh's covenant as far as him having mercy, uh, bringing mercy back on us, man. You know, you know, and, and the Lord, the Lord is not a man that he should lie, man. The scriptures say the Lord is not a man that he should change, lest Israel should be a. Uh, Basically, um, destroyed, I believe. You know? So, hey, man. The Lord is going to come back real soon, man. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed. But my kindness 
shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith Yahweh, that have mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay the foundations with sapphires. That's right, man. The Most High is going to destroy this place for us, man. He's going to destroy Babylon the Great, America, man. The place of great captivity for our people, man. So I'm going to read that again because that was a heavy precept. Isaiah 54 and 11. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and thy foundations with sapphires. I will make thy windows of a gates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. You know? And, you know, as I was meditating on that precept, man, that's... That says a lot, man, because, you know, right now, you know, you see chemtrails, you see homosexuals, you see, you know, our people just acting like wild animals, you know. I do construction, so, uh, you know, just, <laughs> you know, hey, you could just imagine what I got to see all day, you know. You know, you uh, uh you, you got to smell cigarette smoke, you know what I'm saying? You got to hear, hear the, the just effed up mentality of Esau Edom, man, you know what I'm saying, you gotta just, just bear, you know, just, 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 you know, listen and deal with his lies and his bullshit, man, you know, you know, hey, but this, this, the Lord said he's gonna turn that around, man, to where all we see is beauty, man, you know, to where all we see is beauty, like Apostle, uh, you know, Aramla did the, the video, I believe, it was yesterday or Sunday, life imitates art, man, you know, life imitates art, you know, and he was going into, um, you know, a Spanish song, basically meaning if God were black, you know, so we got, that's another thing we got to deal with the lies of Esau, Edom and people believe in it, you know, you know, we got to deal with a hey, fighting, fighting for what we know is true, man. You know, but the most High said he's going to beautify our, our, our land. You know, he's going to beautify that which we see. All right. That in itself should just, you know what I'm saying, you know, bring a smile and, and and help you to rejoice. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I know brothers, they get into the, the you know, the, the bracelets and the, um, the chains as far as the bracelets and the necklaces as far as, you know, certain uh, uh, gemstones. You know, because we know that they bring certain vibrations, certain, you know, healthier vibrations. But the Lord said he's going to bring that as a, as a, on a whole. You know, he's going to change the vibration of this place on a whole. You know, first and foremost, Yahweh, by, hey, Yahweh Shah is going to be ruling, man. Okay. The scripture said when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right. And under Yahweh Shah, everything's going to be in its rightful order. You, you're going to see <clears throat> it's like it. You know, you're going to see, uh, you know, how beautiful the Eastern world is. I know as the Elder Brothers of Hobo always goes into, it's not going to be no more rap music. It's not going to be no more rock music. It's not going to be no more reality TV shows. None of that, you know. It's going to go back to how things were, man. Because how things were, were per perfected, man. We're perfect. Okay. So it says, reading on to verse 12. And I will make thy windows of a gates and thy gates of carbuncles. And thy borders of pleasant stones. You know, so let's. You know, just look at this, man. Look how beautiful and, you know, serene and, you know, just, just rich these stones look, man. And this is just carbuncle. Let's look up sapphire. Because this is how the kingdom is going to look. You know, just imagine having a whole, you know, bedroom full of this, man. Just waking up to something like this, man. You know, just a natural light glaring off of it at night through the moonlight, man. You know? Right now, we got to look at four walls of sheetrock, man. 
You know, if you got a little paint on it, you feel like, you know, you, it might look a little better, but shit, I don't got nothing, you know, on this. You know, just going to sleep. Feeling good, man. Waking up feeling good. That's what's coming to us, man. You know? That's why we, we, we encourage brothers to fight, man. That's why we encourage brothers to stay strong in the faith. Because this is what's coming to us. <laughs> okay? It says, And I will make thy windows of the gates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of Yahweh, and great shall be the peace of thy children. You know, so then and this is a cut to all those that say that we're not going to have sex in the kingdom. Because how, how are we going to have children? In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. We're going to be far from oppression. You know what I'm saying? We see Edomite, we're going to beat the shit out of him, man. Because he represents oppression, man. And righteousness shall thou be established. And righteousness and righteousness will be our strength. It's not gonna be no more, you know, adultery going on. You know what I'm saying? Our minds are gonna be on a different level, man. You know? For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. So Babylon has to be completely destroyed in order for that to happen, man. Because this place is is a ter hey, the scriptures say uh they can't keep at home. You know, so like you know, like I remember the pastor always going to. There's no, there's no way that we could, you know, rule side by side with Esau, man. There's no way, you know, because we would outshine him, and Esau can't have that. You know, it has to be. It's, it's going to be a new world order, you know, but under Yahweh shot, you know, not under Esau Edom, so-called white man. So it says, uh. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sakes. Okay? So the scoffers and scorners and those that hate to see, you know, this hey, the, the, uh, the third temple being built. You know, how beautiful and glorious it's looking. All right, they're going to fall. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Lucky, I know it's getting dark. I know the brothers can see me. But fuck it. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, the ICBM nuclear missiles, and bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. And the weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall thou condemn. Thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. You know? So I was going to get something. I was going to get uh, Isaiah 65. But this tells it all, man. You know? You know? And um, yeah, I'm going to just keep it short. You know, like I said, just some little one edifying to you, Akim, out there. You know, and just to remember what, no matter what we go through, it's not going to compare to what we're going to get, you know? And if anything, what we go through should make you want the kingdom even more, man. You know? It should make you want the kingdom any more. I mean, even more. All right? The most I just said, he's going to destroy this place. He's going to destroy the wicked for our sake, man. You know? You know, so, hey, the Lord is going to beautify us, man, because we represent him, you know, and if we're, hey, we're the Lord's, hey, we're the Lord's woman, man. The should say, uh, you know, man's glory is his, is his woman, you know, so guess what? If we looking good, it makes the Lord look good, man, you know, so, hey, that's something we should pray for, too, man, you know, allow us, you know, to look good, <laughs> You know, something to that extent, you know, allow us to, uh, you know, uh, clean us up, clean up our hearts so that we may glorify you because the Lord loves to be glorified, man. You know, hey, man. So with that, Lord willing, you, I can edify Shalom to the elect.